What is up guys, it's your boy bro, I'm Josh with Fashion Tips and Vlogs and today I'm back with another banger. So I just want to stop and just explain to you why I haven't been dropping so consistently as of lately. Basically, it is, I haven't felt like I found an environment in my new uh, place where it was aesthetically pleasing for me to like flow and kind of just do all of my YouTube uh, videos and stuff like that. But now I kind of decorated this up, this little corner of mine. I have a dope chair, which is pretty cool. And I also put a plant here, so it just kind of made the vibe just less bland and just like, ugh. So all that to say, I am back and I'm happy. And today I got another review because this is my first piece from this brand that I've been eyeing for such a long time. As you guys could tell from the thumbnail and the title of this video, we'll be talking about Capital, just the quality, kind of give you a brief history on them or history lesson on them and just see if this is actually worth the price tag because I'm all about buying to like that sustains its value, which is gonna last you a very long time, like clothing items that last you a very long time. So if you're interested in fashion or sneakers or any type of content like that, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a fan here, hit that like, the comment, like I always say, I reply to every comment in the comment section and let's go. So before we get into the item that I bought, I just want to kind of give you guys a brief rundown of my history with Capital. I don't have a lot of history with it. I actually been following them probably for the last year and a half. They blew up like crazy just everywhere on your explore page. People that I follow were uh, wearing some of their items, uh, especially the Smiley crew neck or the Smiley bandana, which you'll see pop up uh, right here somewhere right there, guys. Uh, just for reference. So I wanted to kind of steer away from that and I wanted to find something that was more unique and kind of more something out of my comfort zone but yeah so it's a Japanese brand a pretty luxury I would say basically most of your items are going to run you about I think the cheapest crew neck that they have which is a smiley one is about a hundred and seventy nine dollars and then anything else will probably, any bandana or accessory will probably be a little bit cheaper than that, but definitely run you a pretty penny and they sell out instantly, guys. So uh, I caught this at Grailed and this guy gave me a crazy price, guys. This, this crew neck, um, if I find the retail price, I'll put it up here, but I think this will probably range around that $350 mark and I did not play anywhere close to it. So let me just bring it out. Crew neck here. Um, with on all over print a hundred percent cotton and as you guys can tell uh, let me just take this out of here very right there uh, capital guys so it's very out of my comfort zone uh, I love crew necks but a pattern hopefully you guys can see that pattern but the pattern is what drew me to this piece it's absolutely beautiful guys I was just basically scrolling the interwebs and just kind of trying to find a good piece but with a like a good value I didn't I'm not gonna pay $350 for a crew neck like I always say after like a hundred and twenty ish hundred thirty eight dollar I think that you lose a lot of like a diminished return you're not gonna get that much better of that much better quality at $400 price point than you are going to be at 120. I think that it basically tops off as much as as much as brands want to do it. It's just a good way of their marketing. But other than that, it's really you're paying for uh, the quality is going to be the same. So it's 100% cotton. Definitely great when it comes to uh, the the material is 100% one of the best quality materials that I've I've ever felt. Uh, definitely reminds me of that Cole Buxton uh, crew neck that I used to style. I think it was the patent bread. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll just put a little tag up there. But yeah, it's very dope, very kind of oversized. Um, I got a size three. So a three should be about a large. So let's talk about sizing that is definitely a very important topic when it comes to this brand. So I am six feet tall, 170-ish pounds on a good day, but most of my body weight is actually my legs, so take that into consideration. I have very skinny, long arms, and pretty much um, no stomach. 
It's basically my legs that weigh a lot for what for six feet tall. I definitely don't look like 170 pounds, but yeah, that's where I am at right now currently. So this is a size three and that's the whole situation with capital. I think if you are in an area like New York, I think they have a shop in New York that carries capital or maybe any consignment store that carry capital. I would definitely suggest that you try on the garment because I've realized that looking through all these different measurements on Grails, on eBay and all this, their sizing is all over the place. Like a size three in the Smiley crew neck was three inches smaller in length than this and also like two inches uh, less in the width of this shirt. So a size three in that crew neck was different than a size three in this crew neck. So definitely be sure to go in and just measure your favorite crew neck, your favorite fitting crew neck and try to mimic that uh, measurements to when you're finding a capital garment, whatever it is, if it's pants, just measure everything. If it's, if it's crew neck, measure it. T-shirts are a little bit easier. You can always throw it on. Um, so just definitely keep that in consideration when coming to this. Uh, and then let me just go and show you guys an odd body footage. Let's go. Let me know what you guys think. This is, like I said, I'm, I'm six feet tall, 170, and this is a size three in this specific uh, crew neck. Look, the, the sleeves are a little baggier uh, than, than I thought, but definitely works. I think it, I think it really works. I think you have to uh, accessorize it up, have the blue. I think this really goes well together. Like this pattern is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I like it with the with the Yankees um, Yankee snapback. Pretty dope, guys. Let's go back up top. Let's go. So as you guys can tell, I kept it on for the conclusion of this video. I pretty much love how it fits. Um, I definitely curled this up like the little stringy thing at the bottom. I don't like that, so I do that to every single one of my hoodies if it has that. Um, just that waistband, that's what I would say, elastic waistband, I just don't like it, so I always uh, cuff it up. And it makes it seem like more boxy and more kind of my style. Um, I would suggest wearing a t-shirt that is not, you know, as, as um, kind of like a higher neckline. So wear something that's a little bit lower cut, and you'll be fine. I think that the patterns work really well when it comes to just being a muted pattern. It's, it's dope because it still catches your attention, but like, like, like I said, you could still wear it with something other than this being the vocal point of your outfit. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is this a cop or is this a drop? I love it personally, I, definitely out of my comfort zone, but what can you say? It's a pretty dope piece from a dope brand. I really love what they do and it's just like, I feel like they preach that environmental friendly. Also just getting stuff that is going to last you a very long time and this is definitely well constructed it's gonna last you a long time it's it's a hundred percent cotton so that's definitely one of my biggest biggest pet peeves or biggest biggest things that i look for yeah let me know what you guys think my final thoughts are that it's uh worth it if you can find it for a good price like i said i did not pay near not even close to 350 i got this for an absolute steal of a price um so yeah Hit that like button, hit that comment section, guys. Subscribe if you're new here. We're on our road to a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I started this a year ago, and just to hit 300 uh, subscribers is absolutely amazing. I'm thankful for every single one of you guys that continues to watch my videos. Just take out time from your busy day to watch me. It definitely, truly means a lot. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's get me to a thousand uh, subscribers. That way I can finally quit my job. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Let's go.